Hey everybody, the Bond Guess back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Pokemon Diamond. Alright, what I decided to do, and this is a bit drastic, I took Bell out of the party because I did a little bit of research on when it evolves into Chimeco, and I'm supposed to have max happiness and level it up at night. Obviously, it's the daytime, so I don't want to miss out on too many level up opportunities. So I took her out and put in Cheryl Crow, which is, of course, my Murkrow. Only at level 11, so it's got the EXP share. I feel it'd be handy here simply because we're dealing with potential ghost types. So, Lost Tower is like Pokemon Tower from Kanto. Where, you know, it's like a graveyard. Ah! Ghost! Get away! Eek! Help me, team! I'm, I'm very, very, very much alive, my friend. Oliver. Alright, you start off with a Stunky at level 16. Not a bad Pokemon to start with. But Bruce is obviously a uh, way set up for the job. <laughs> Shellos. Alright, so I gotta bring in Salad from my D-Ball. When I get some free time, I should catch some more unknown and make some more... make some actual words out of this. I guess I can only put in words I can fit. Uh, Pokeball. Pretty sure I can come up with some neat possibilities. Okay, level 12. Cricket 2! Alright, this is your turn. I think you should be able to take it out before it even unleashes by. Level 16? Yeah, you got this. Yeah, it didn't even start with Bide. Oh, are you kidding me? You're really gonna make me just do one more move? You're gonna, aren't ya? I couldn't even burn it. There. Adios, Chancho. Ooh, at least I'll get decent experience here from the trainers. Hey! You're no ghost! Really? What gave it away? An oval stone. I believe that involves only certain Pokemon. Like, Happiny, for instance. I think there's an item nearby, but I don't see it. Oh, there's the Stardust. Alright, cool. Well, I already got a Ghastly, so... I don't think I need to worry about it now. In fact, I'm not gonna worry about it now. Well, at least his attack is pretty good. One bite and it's down. Not even a critical. I took Cheryl Crow because it has Pursuit. And Dark Moves, of course, are good against ghosts. I try to have, like, some variety in case I run into a, a type disadvantage. Hi. You're big. My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgiven their faces. Then why are you battling me? I'm not with Team Galactic. Roughneck Kirby. Using a Cleffa. How fitting is that? Which kind of looks like a Kirby. Alright, I'm 
mop the floor with your cleffa as well. We're gonna need another grave. Wah! Weirdo. Ah, a revive. In a, pretty much a graveyard. Oh, oh, how sad is that? Might as well fight every trainer I see. I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. Then don't even try to explain it. I'm not even gonna listen. Leonard. No Pichu. I would consider switching, but you know what? I think one fight will still get the job done. See? What'd I tell ya? Another Pichu? Are you serious? It's like a DJ Cali line. Another one. That, of course, is one of those lyrics that you know comes from DJ Khaled. As well as DJ Khaled is a lyric for DJ Khaled. He wants you to know that he's the one saying that. In case you're not sure. Alright, I'm, I'm definitely gonna switch for him. Stay on that Pikachu. That would be the best decision. Oh no, you're not one of those, are you? Uh, it's gonna use double team. Base accuracy on Razor Leaf is already not a hundred. So now you just made it worse. Oh, thank God. Because I was not looking forward to dealing with mass double teams. Huh? What was I just doing? What, were you possessed? Though they are gone, the desire to battle lives on? The spirits of Pokemon still linger? Is that what it is? Dude, did you just get possessed by dead Pokemon? What is going on? Oh. He's saying there's something around here. I don't see it. I need to shake off my sorrow. Please battle with me. You're weird, Rebecca. You have nothing but Bonsleys, but only one of them you'll actually use for combat. More power to ya. Mimic. Oh great, now you got bite. Well, it shouldn't be bad. I don't think Bonsley is like a heavy attacker. So I feel like we'll be okay. More than okay, to be honest with you. Absorb still doesn't one-shot it? That's a shame. Guess I'll have to wait till I get Mega Drain. If this Pokemon even gets Mega Drain. Well, a win is a win is a win. I'll take it as it comes. My sorrow has deepened. That's because you're a sore loser. Oh, it's up here. Ah, a great ball. Hi. It makes no difference where we are. If you have Pokemon with you, I reckon you ought to battle. My Pokemon's a lively one. Let me show you how much. Lively. 
rubbing it in next to like dead bodies and memorials. Beth and Bob. <laughs> I'm okay with this lineup. Should be able to own them. We're not even level 20 yet. We can attack you. And spark you. There. That's the game plan. And I think it's gonna work just fine. Oh, you also want wing attack. Wing attack is 60 and 100. 35 and 100. Oh yeah, that's definitely a no-brainer. Get rid of Peck. That's a straight upgrade. Did you really think I was gonna swap out my Crobat? Really? You have to go with Pursuit? You know what? Cheryl Crow might actually be competent in here. If we had to deal with ghosts. TM27, return. Oh, that's perfect for Pokemon with max happiness. I can't embarrass myself again. Not in front of my girlfriend. Again? I don't want to look bad again. Not when my boyfriend is watching. So you two have, like, massive social anxiety around each other. Got it. Murkrow and Miss Dravis. Alright, this is a good lineup, too. Yeah, I can just bite the Miss Dravis and it'll be down. Wing attack... No, it's, it's bite. Nice, it only took one. I'm supposed people that like ghost types and got Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal were really glad Miss Dravis was a thing. So they finally have a ghost type that's not part poison. Cause man, I said it before and I said it again. Ghosts really had the short end of the stick in Gen 1. And I guess to an extent, so did dragons. Like, there was very few of them, and there was only, like, one dragon offensive move, and that was Dragon Rage. Are you kidding me? I didn't even move. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have to... Why did I think Confuse Ray was on lower right and Bite was lower left? I'm a dumb. I meant to use Bite. And you're done, so. That makes up for me acting like an idiot. <laughs> What's up on the next floor? Oh, this is the top! The Lost Tower is where the spirits of departed Pokémon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives. Those whose times were short. All the departed Pokémon shall find solace here. It's good of you to have visited. Here, take this hidden machine. HM04, that's strength, right? To use that hidden move, strength. I've forgotten where exactly, but you must visit a Pokemon gym. Can you make your journey out of this place less frightening? Take this! Cleanse Tag. The Cleanse Tag. Let the first Pokemon in your team hold it. It will help keep wild Pokemon away so you can leave unhindered. Alright, that only just reduces the rate of Pokemon appearing. Rather than nullify it altogether. Oh. Can't escape rope here. 
So I literally have to walk back out. Well, that's a high level Zubat. And what I'm used to fighting. Well, in case I can't escape at all, even on the lower floor. Here, hold that cleanse tag. I can't escape rope here either, can I? Nope! You can't do it. Screw it, I'll just use a repel. I'll keep the cleanse tag on him just in case I don't want to use a repel. I can still lower the rates of wild encounters. I haven't even bothered to hatch that egg yet. Well, I'm not looking to do every single thing in this Let's Play. Just enough of it to enjoy it. Because if you try to do it too much, then you enjoy it less, and it really shows. I'm doing you guys a favor for that. Alright, I think it's time to actually make some progress. Oh. Wait, I think I got my good raw that was registered. Let me register the bicycle again. I think I'll be needing that. Hi. So long as there's a road, we'll keep on running. Um. Okay, you do that. And I'll just go this way. I'm taking a rest. If I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. <laughs> uh, you should rest up too. TM51, roost? If they had to keep flying forever, bird Pokemon would eventually crash. Uh... Whatever you say. But yeah, but considering she actually said the word roost, obviously TM51 is well, roost. That's more often than not a dead giveaway, is all I'm trying to say. Oh ho ho! I'll show y'all how tightly I bonded with my daughter. Uh, please don't. I can get away with slacking off of my Pokemon out. I think that's kind of creepy. Ava and Matt. Stunky and Glamiel. Oh, okay, low level 20s. Starting to pick up a bit. Still shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's gonna take more than one wing attack. Probably more than two embers. Oh god, it's up to four. Four times! Awesome. Not. <laughs> Try stomp instead. I think that should eliminate the problem. Or maybe I should have switched targets. Was this a good idea? Oh, it was a good idea. Stomp was actually better. I'm gonna take a look at red hair stats. Parent and child power couldn't get the job done. Oh, sheesh. Oh, that's a lot of money, too. Oh, well, considering it's a double battle. Okay, attack is higher than special attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Hi. My Pokemon toughened up and working on the ranch. 
I'm right proud of them. Um, good for you, Marco. I'm sending out a pom. All right, your funeral. Good thing there's a lost tower nearby. Huh. Next is Giraffe Rig. You know what? I think it's time for Shower Crow to finally get some action. Shower Crow just uh, popping out of her one ball, which in its own way is very ironic. Oh, you're pretty fast. That was actually a nice pursuit. Like... I've always liked Giraffe Rig until that happened. First battle gets hit with a critical. Just my luck. God damn it. I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center to revive her again. Psyduck? Zach, why don't you take this one? You haven't been getting much levels lately. So I think it's time to pick up the pace. Now, will this do it? No, it's only one level difference. Okay, that did do it. I am impressed. You still have a little bit of muscle. Haha! -ha! Your Pokemon sure can be counted on. Well, almost all of them. Wow, that cleanse tag definitely worked great now, did it? Huh? Huh? some stuff too like more, more supplies I got some extra money I think I can get away with it all right let's see what I can buy now probably still the same stuff I've got a gym badge in like a good while Use more repels. I'll take 20 of them. Hopefully, by the time I get the next badge, I can buy super repels. They're usually the best ones to buy, even though max repels obviously work for longer. But I think, in terms of like monetary value, I think you're better off just getting the um, super repels. Yay! We're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon! Yay! We're gonna have a battle with three trainers! Wait, three trainers? What are you talking about? Do you not know how numbers work? You have Pikachu and Clefairy. Good stuff, I guess. Pikachu is definitely not good stuff. Let's just focus on the Pikachu exclusively and get rid of it. Oh! Okay, we got rid of the electric attacker. Watch now Clefairy uses metronome and it's like thunder. Oh no! It's using minimize. 
to like double team. Follow me. You're the only one left. What? How could follow me help you? In the context that you are like the last one standing. I don't get it. Even if both of us be lost, we two couldn't win. At least I got those numbers right. Ah, damn it. I just wanted that item. I know I could have just gone around. Hey, check this out! Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur! How about I don't? Khalil? Usually the uh, breeders tend to have mostly baby Pokemon. As long as they're not trying to breed with the babies themselves. That would be borderline illegal, I would like to believe. Ooh, Air Cutter! Okay, Air Cutter is special. At a high crit rate. Oh, but I like Wing Attack a lot. I wish I could see, like, the uh, stats. Like, maybe the overall stats of Bruce? It seems like it could be a better physical attacker than a special attacker. You know what? I'm probably not gonna get much out of Leech Life. Hopefully soon I can start learning poison moves. Pikachu, eh? Alright, Sal, it's your time to shine. D! <laughs> Get some of that D salad. <laughs> what would be in a D salad anyway? Like daikon? Dogberries? Which, of course, are, do not involve actual dogs. Unfortunately, I got paralyzed. That could be a pain in the ass. Thunder Wave can be definitely one of those moves that you hate to see. <coughs> Even though there are literally worse moves out there. Alright, Shell Crow, try your best not to get critted in one hit. It's just a happening. You got this. I like to believe you got this. See? You beat up a baby Pokemon. You must be real proud. Oh god, happenings give you a lot of experience. Jeez. Hey, did you take a good look? Imagine the EVs you get out of them are not ideal. Probably just HP or defense. He's got a great ball. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best. Look, as long as you know that Skitty and Waylord can go together, you're already halfway there. That's the important thing. Other than like Skitty or Werelord, what could be like the oddest Pokemon pairing that can create eggs together? Let me know in the comment section what you think is actually very bizarre. And trust me, the comments actually do help the algorithm. You could be doing me a great favor. Let's try it here, Cutter. A critical hit! You know, even if my special stat is lower than my attack, I can still get decent value with the uh, crit chance. Next. Yeah, 
Man, this could actually be pretty grand. Copycat. Wait, are you gonna use Air Cutter on me? I'm not worried. It only did two! Only two damage. What a joke. Yeah, you're still a rookie. Apparently had lots of things. Oh yeah, I still have honey. Ooh, what's this? The hell? There's a bunch of Psyducks. How are you doing? What you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk? Only 500 Poké Dollars. How does that heal again? 100 HP! Damn, it's cheaper than Super Potions! And Super Potions only heal half that much. Too bad you can't buy these in bulk. We were having a heated discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do. I don't want to know how you collectors have debates. As long as they're not deciding, oh, what Pokemon should be taken out of the national decks? Those are not usually debates. Where has that Mr. Mime gone away? Another Mr. Mime. I'm gonna let you take over, Cheryl. You got a good old pursuit waiting for them. That's anything but trivial. Okay, not that much farther and I'll finally make it to Veilstone. Okay, it's not a one-shotter. But that's okay. Still doing the job. Start getting more levels, you'll be a very versatile dark type. I mean, not the best dark type. First, I feel like one of the best dark types is Absol. Or Nightshade. Uh... You know what? Fixed damage? I'll get rid of Astonish. Like, Nightshade will do as much damage as my current level. So if I only need to do 21 points of damage, I have Nightshade. First, I think Nightshade be reliable if I want to, like, catch certain Pokemon. And I know that I can probably get more than one hit out of it. Granted, the best move for that is False Swipe, but I just don't have that. Yet. I heard you can actually get that the next town, though, so we're not that far. Doesn't Veilstone have, like, a department store that can allow you to buy, like, a myriad of items, including TMs? I think that'll be great for our chances of success. Welcome! This place is my pride and joy! I thought this was a place you could heal. Caddy? We just have a Clefairy. Clefairies and Clef has been showing up a lot around this general area. Too bad they are the useless right now. Wake up, Slap. I'm, I'm already awake. Apparently it's a fighting move. Okay, that's all sorted. Hey! I take losses with an unusually big smile. Do you find that odd at all? You're working in the service industry. You have to smile to everything. Just hang on a sec. I gotta take care of something. Be right back. 
All right, I'm back. I was just like feeling a little sick in the stomach, but you know, I'm just having a little bit of water. I feel good to go again. I'm a collector, and I'm proud of what I know about Pokemon. Would you like me to test your knowledge? No, but thanks. Edwin, you have a pseudo wudo. This calls for a switch. I'm not gonna stick you against a rock type. Oh, right, my grass type is still paralyzed. I forgot to use that paralyzed heal. I don't know what it was, but I think I was feeling a little bit of dehydration. So, of course, it made me feel a little ill in the stomach. That said, I'm feeling a little bit better. It's still really warm around this time of year. You know, like, in early September when I'm recording this. I know I'm well ahead based on, like, uh, where we are now by the time this video is up. But I'm really enjoying this game. It's usually been my style to, like, play it well ahead in advance. And it's not like I'm just gonna be, like, uh, glossing over something like I don't know what I'm doing. I understand how this game works. Luckily, I haven't come to a situation where people think I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, you actually survived that Razor Leaf. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, not, not as bad as I thought. Flail usually does a decent amount of damage based on how much HP the Pokemon has. So if it's at red and uses Flail, it's getting the biggest buff. You're at level 22 already. You catch up quick, Cheryl. I might as well curse now. Okay, that was a critical. Never mind. I was thinking, what? Actually, let's just get rid of this now. Perfect. That's gonna be a lot better for us. What am I doing? I think I should survive one more low kick, unless it's yet another crit. And what are the odds of that happening twice? This might get him only in red. That can make Flail worse for me. Oh, never mind. Can't use Flail if you fainted. That's some knowledge you have there. I know, right? I know how to play the Pokemans. Here, drink up. Howdy, Traveler! Some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle. But they had no mind and stay a while. Youngster, you seen the Psyduck huddled outside? Psyduck are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I'll probably get some Moo Moo Milk again later. But for now, I'm not gonna be able to move. At least not this way. Route 215. It looks like it's raining all the time. So that means uh, certain Pokemon will have buffs. And certain Pokemon, like fire types, will have a bit of a disadvantage. I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot is a victory from you. Uh, no. Also, you're getting your paper wet. Oh, Bronzor, now I have to switch again. I wasn't anticipating you'd start with a steel type.
Also, I believe when it's raining, Thunder has 100% accuracy, which it usually doesn't. And water moves will hit harder. Extra sensory, eh? Yeah, so unfortunately, Ember is going to do a little less damage because of the rain. Oh my god, that little? It decreased that much? Alright, let's try Fire Spin. I'll just have to do some gradual damage to it. Oh, this is gonna be frustrating, to say the least. Maybe I can still burn it. Give it a double dose of flame. Well, I don't think Fire Spin itself can leave a burn. At least not the continuous damage. Took a little bit longer than I'd hoped. Shield on. That's the other dinosaur, isn't it? Isn't that like is that ground and steel? Or maybe it's not steel type yet. All I know is it can be pretty tough. I think it might still only be rock type for now. Let's see how much damage I do. Neutral. Okay, so it might just be steel and ground. Because if it was like rock and ground, I'd be doing a lot of damage. Sadly, that is not the case. Okay, I guess we both suck in the rain. Hope this crits. Otherwise, we could be in for a lengthy fight. Oh, now it's using iron defense. I also have to defense sharply. I don't think it should be a problem with one more Razor Leaf. Okay, good. Shield on is down. I've been doing better if I have my fighting type with me. I can't win. You're too much to take. Ether. I'll probably just ignore the trainers until I get to Veilstone and then I'll turn back. Because I would like to just get to the town and then just recover from there. I was snoozing, you claim? I merely feigned sleep. Hiya! Yeah, I, I, I totally believe you. You're not full of garbage, Gregory. Okay, Metatite, eh? Your meta is clearly very tight. Except not really. Ah, good thing I started with Curse. That just made your detect a bit meaningless.
The one thing that is annoying is that rain continues to fall will be the message that pops up every single turn while you're in this route. Oh, that was almost enough. Nearly had it. Oh, using faint. All right. Isn't that the move that bypasses protect and detect? Or is that faint attack? F E I N T. Bring it up the shop. This was a no-brainer by any stretch. Well, let's look at it this way. Bruce is definitely gonna be my main star for the third gym, which is fighting. Flying types, psychic types, and I think... I think that's virtually it? Well, I guess you could use ghosts. Because fighting can't even hit them. But at least I have a couple of options. To deal with fighting types. Alright, so you're just going to delay the inevitable. Thank god you didn't try for it twice. Because that would have been very irritating. Look, for my videos to be this long, at least I'm getting stuff done. A fist plate. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. Well, at least he got to enjoy some personal space. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on! I don't even stay in the grass that long and I still get in fights. I'm just gonna assume that running away on the first try is not gonna be successful, but let's give it a shot. Nah, what'd I tell ya? Waste of time. And I'll switch to you. You're faster. You can guarantee me a run. Maybe I'm just better off taking you out now. I think that's what I will do. Let's just wing attack it down. Ooh, it survived! I'm surprised you still went for Ember. I thought you would just hit Stomp. I mean, the AI would not know its powers being debuffed in the rain. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt right there. There's an item up over there on that ledge. Let me get the berries first. Two free P.E.K.K.A. berries. And two free Pluck berries. And a free Repel from me. Oh, guard spec. I believe that just prevents your uh, stats from dropping whenever you get hit by such a move. And I gotta go around this way again. I suppose this is the right way to go to get the Veilstone. I don't trust my chances of not running into a wall of Pokemon here. I bet you I will. Good, it did not 
not see me. Hold on, is there something around here? Really? Huh. There is something over here. Oh my god, look at those colorful berries. Those actually look really nice. TM-34, Shockwave. Okay, it looks like a reverse L this guy goes. Okay, perfect. A full heal, and it looks like it's one more fight before I can finally make it to the town. They had to make me wait, huh? I'll battle anyone! That's how I'll get better! I'm taking the Failstone Gym Challenge, but first... Don't leave me hanging! What are you gonna do? Do you have to use the bathroom? Dennis and Maya. Ooh, one of them is a Monferno. See, this one will require a little bit more effort than normal. It is Ace Trainers after all. Luckily, Monferno is part fighting. This theoretically should be an easy takedown with wing attack, and it is. Ooh, level up to 25. Cheryl Crow might be a kind of liability in the uh, fighting gym, because even though it has wing attack, she's also part dark. That'll bring fighting moves to, like, neutral. Then again, Staravia is, like, flying normal. Ooh, that's a Gyarados. God dang it. Lord, all of our attacks. I think we should focus on the Gyarados, because Glamio by itself does not seem like a threat. Oh, that's a massive drop. Then again, it is a Gyarados. Oh no. Not hypnosis. You're gonna make me switch, aren't ya? Oh god, it's terrible damage across the whole board. Alright, here's the plan. I'm not gonna be able to do a single bit of damage this turn. So I'm gonna try to buff it up. I think this will be a step in the right direction if Sally can survive this. I did get debuffed a little bit. Oh my god, you hit with hypnosis twice in a row. You ass! Heals off, says runs, well, I got full heals for that too. I think I'll just use a regular potion. Unfortunately, it'll stay asleep even more. But if I can get rid of that Gyarados, we'll be sitting pretty. Dear God, that almost took out Zack in one hit. Okay, this should do it. 
Oh, good. We eliminated Gyarados. That would have been a hassle if it stayed alive. Now I just got this Glamio, and I assume whatever's left. Yeah, there's still one other Pokemon. Now you better wake up. Brush your teeth, put on a little makeup. <laughs> What is this going to do? Okay, that could have been worse. There, Glamio is finally down. So who are we double teaming next? God, we're so close to the city. Kadabra! Oh, if I survive this, I got... No. If I survive this, I can at least use Bite. Oh, wait, I got two Biters. Never mind. Miracle Eye. Oh, well, that's nothing to worry about. <laughs> See? I only needed one of them. You won and I lost, but the both of us gained something from this. You made me lose my confidence. Wow, almost like polar opposites. Wiki Berry! Nice, I like Wiki Berries. They're a reliable source of berryness. And the Mago Berry. I wanted to go to Celestic Town. There were some Pokemon in the way. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, dude. You're, you're blocking the way. Oh my god, you're making me leave. What a piece of garbage that guy was. Oh god, Team Galactics are here. Hold on, is there something in this corner? Looks like some kind of warehouse. It says there's something nearby. Oh. Just a tiny mushroom. Well, that's not special. The game corner is dangerous! Why is it dangerous? So fun, I lose track of time. Well, that's your fault. I got a TM for as a prize from the game corner. I use it on my Pokemon right away. Okay, there's an item up there, but I can't reach it due to not being able to rock climb. Hold on, what's this? Why is that plateau even here? Let me check out the game corner. I'll keep it brief, because keep in mind I don't have a coin case. Welcome to the Veilstone Game Corner! Did you want some coins with the slots? Okay, so I gotta get a coin case. Uh, do any of you have a coin case? Gotcha. Do you know where one might find a coin case? I heard there's a clown giving them away, but... Well, I just gotta look for a clown then. Hey, a prize I really want, but it'd be tough saving up the coins. Walk off Grand Slam home run. Find a clown. Well, there's meteorites, which are good if you had a Deoxys. Which I do not have a Deoxys. Where the hell is the clown? You know what, it's probably in one of the buildings. And again, let me look around the rest of the city. Maybe up here? 
Wait, there's Dawn? You know what? I'm not even gonna bother to go into any of these buildings yet. So what I should do is just go straight to the Pokemon Center because I'm a bit beat up. And by a bit beat up, I mean very beat up. Well, actually not that beat up. But I'm hella tired. If you use the hidden move Fly, you'll be instantly whisked to any town you visited before. Well, I don't have Fly. Maylene, the gym leader, is a cute little girl. But don't let her looks fool you. Even grown-ups have trouble with her. Maybe she's just difficult to tame. I'll take care of that easily. You just leave that to me. Oh wow, my Pokedex went up to 69! What a magic number. Alright, so I think that's some pretty good progress. We made it to the next gym. Probably won't take it on right away. Definitely gonna have to think about who should be on my team when I do. So I got a few options. I just gotta make sure I pick the right ones. So let me stop here, and in the next part, we'll finally get ourselves ready for the third gym. Maybe get that coin case, too. See everyone, thanks for watching.